Hey guys, today I'm talking to you about one of my favorite superfoods, raw cacao, otherwise known as chocolate. The issue there is that chocolate, most chocolate, is highly processed. And the more that you process chocolate, the more you strip it of key nutrients that support your mood, your memory, your cardiovascular function, that reduce inflammation in your body, and the more that you actually create more inflammation and damage to your system. In fact, most chocolate that's consumed in Western countries is high in sugar. It's highly processed, very low in antioxidant compounds, and also it's oftentimes combined with milk, right? A milk chocolate, and the milk actually inhibits the absorption of key polyphenols. So when I'm talking about chocolate, I'm talking about raw cacao or minimally processed chocolate, and there's some great health benefits. Chocolate, raw or minimally processed chocolate or raw cacao has been shown to help support healthy blood pressure, help improve your mood and your memory. It's also actually supportive of your immune system. And on top of that, it helps to improve your breathing. It actually can be really good for reducing uh, uh, constriction in your smooth, your smooth muscles in your lungs if you're dealing with things like asthma and issues like that. And on top of that, it's also very good for busting through stress. And the reason why is because raw chocolate is very rich in polyphenols. So there was a great study that was published in the Archives of Internal Medicine in 2007 where they actually studied and looked at green tea, black tea, and chocolate, which all share these same catechin antioxidants. And they actually showed that the raw chocolate actually had a, a more profound effect with, uh, it actually had more polyphenols more profound effect when it came to helping improve blood pressure. And so, you know, we know about green tea, we know about all the health benefits, but actually raw chocolate is actually richer in these catechins, EGCG, different uh, catechins like that, uh, that, it, that it's rich in. And so you've got these catechin polyphenols. It's also very rich in theobromide, which is in the same class of bitter alkaloids, similar to caffeine, but it doesn't have the same addictive properties as caffeine and it's actually easier on your central nervous system and it's been shown to help uh, relax smooth muscle tissue which helps with breathing helps lower blood pressure it's also been shown to help boost up hdl the good cholesterol and on top of that it's also been shown to help improve cognitive function helps get more circulation right so when we think about vasodilation we think about improved oxygenation so it brings more oxygen up into the brain so you're able to think sharper and clearer it helps boost up dopamine which is a very feel-good neurotransmitter that helps you be more focused. It helps you be able to accomplish your goals and uh, you know really just be more task-oriented and get things done. So theobromide really helps us with performance in general and uh, really helps us be able to accomplish the things that we want to accomplish. So you have that in your dark chocolate. So it also has enanamide, which is an endocannabinoid. I know that's a, a big word there. But when we think about endocannabinoids, we think about things like CBD, for example. And so our body has this natural cannabinoid receptor system, this endocannabinoid system in our body. And uh, enanamide binds to these different cannabinoid, uh, endocannabinoid receptors. And it actually helps regulate your stress response. So it acts as an adaptogen, helps regulate and balance your hormones. It also acts as a MAO inhibitor, which helps keep your serotonin levels up and uh, really helps boost your mood. So a lot of people feel really good, right? You know, and you probably felt that when you, when you consume chocolate. You just feel really good. You feel that bliss, right? You feel um, really calm, you feel joyous, and it's really, really enjoyable. And so that's that powerful compound in there. And then also dark chocolate is very rich in magnesium, which helps calm your nervous system as well and uh, helps regulate your blood pressure, helps you think sharper and clearer. So there's many, many different benefits from consuming dark chocolate. But again, the key is you wanna get it minimally processed. So my favorite sources for this are going to be some sort of dark chocolate, minimally processed or raw cacao that you can get in a powder. This one you can see is 85%. So it's got minimal amount of sugar that's added to it. So that's a good source. And then I really like Cacao Bliss. And this is a company that has taken some of the best cacao, right? Some of the best dark chocolate. They've combined it with turmeric as well as cinnamon. Turmeric is really powerful for reducing inflammation in the body. Cinnamon is great for blood sugar stability. So they combine all of these into one 
uh, powder, and they also have MCT oil powder, which turns into ketones in your body, which helps fuel your brain. And so this is really good anti-inflammatory um, blood sugar stabilizing powder that tastes amazing. You can put it in all different types of recipes. So I really like the Cacao Bliss. Guys, you can check out uh, the link in the notes here where you will uh, get a special discount on the Cacao Bliss. So definitely check that out. And it's really interesting. They studied the Kuna Indians, which are native to Panama. And the Kuna Indians will be in mainland Panama and they'll also be off the coast in the islands. The Kuna Indians that are in the islands consume significantly more cacao than the ones that are mainland. And what they did was Harvard researchers actually studied both of these groups and they looked at disease risk factors and they looked at chronic disease development. And what they found was that the Kuna Indians, which again consume huge amounts of dark chocolate, minimally processed raw cacao, uh, off in, in the islands, these Kuna Indians, they had 1,260% lower risk of heart disease than the mainland Kuna Indians who consume significantly less cacao. And they had a 630% lower risk of developing, getting, of developing cancer than the Kuna Indians that were in mainland. And so basically what they looked at was, what are the differentiating factors here? All of them were getting a lot of time outdoors, they were living similar lifestyles. However, the Kuna Indians that were in the islands were consuming significantly more cacao, raw cacao, than the Kuna Indians that were mainland. And that was the biggest differentiating factor that the Harvard researchers found. So again, goes to show these compounds, the ananamide, the theobromide, the polyphenols, the magnesium that are in this uh, raw cacao have powerful health benefiting effects and they can really support you. And you know, most of us really enjoy consuming some sort of dark chocolate or raw cacao. And so now you can and get amazing health benefits. So again, check out raw cacao in general, Cacao Bliss, which uh, again combines the cacao with the turmeric and the cinnamon and the MCT oil for an even more powerful antioxidant, uh, blood sugar stabilizing, uh, uh, craving, curbing effect. Uh, so check that out and uh, and look for raw cacao and minimally processed chocolate. And I think you'll you'll really enjoy it. You'll get the benefits of it. You'll really feel that bliss. And, uh, and you'll also improve your health at the same time. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, now is the time to do that. And go ahead and uh, click the bell button as well. That way you get notified whenever we put up a new video. And we'll see you on a future online training. Be blessed.